Show me. So we just made a. We just think we made a world record of the smallest paper airplane ever. So we started out with a big full sheet design, and then we made it smaller. And then I was like, "Oh my gosh, we just made <laughs> something extremely tiny." So that's it on a microscope view. And we use a needle. So we used a few different supplies, four different types of pairs of tweezers, and a needle, a sewing needle. And I didn't think we could do it, but we. Well, then we used a little thing that said that told you. Um, what, how big it was, so, we, and then we put it to 1.1, which was our world record, which is this. Okay, so then we take the, let's take the micrometer down here, and, and then, we set it, here, hold on a second, you gotta set it back to 1, you bumped it, you gotta set it back to 1. So we made it. Back up just a little, sweetheart. Alright, see there's... That's nine. That's point nine. So you can see... That we got it down to exactly... One millimeter. Let's see if we can get in here and see. in here and turn this little thing around. And there it is. One millimeter. One millimeter and there it is. We did it. It's one millimeter exactly. Just to give a sense of how small this paper airplane is, compared to a needle, it would actually fit through, you could fit multiple of these paper airplanes through the head of a single sewing needle. You could fit like three of them. It's so tiny. That paper airplane is literally microscopic it's one millimeter from tip to tail and the world record was 1.1 millimeters